after oil. Meanwhile, the, get this, guys. The Mexican government has released a new anti-drug advertisement featuring images of homeless people and open-air drug users in Philadelphia. The hope is to scare kids in Mexico from doing drugs. But why is Mexico using video from a major U.S. city? Brian Yenis is live in our New York newsroom. There's a Mm. A lot to unpack here, Brian. Yeah, no doubt about it, Dana. A record amount of deadly fentanyl from Mexico has flooded cities in the U.S., leading to a historic 100,000 overdoses. But ironically, Mexico's government is now using footage from the streets of Kensington, Philadelphia, in a series of new national anti-drug ads to scare Mexicans from doing fentanyl, meth, and crack. The ads show homeless people, as well as drug users, laid out on the ground, barely walking or slumped over, the ads never identify the city, but the scenes are noticeably from Kensington, an infamous Philly neighborhood operating as an open-air drug market, particularly for heroin. Now, drug overdose deaths in 2021 were the highest they have been in Philadelphia. 1,278 people died, 77% from fentanyl. Philadelphia's mayor, Jim Kenney, said it was hard to see his city portrayed in a limited and negative light in the ads. We spoke to Dr. Robert Ashford, head of the Unity Recovery Community Organization in Philadelphia. He says the ads are offensive and outdated. It's these scare tactics. Um, again, that are reminiscent of the war on drugs. They've never been effective. Um, they've never been effective anywhere in the world, certainly not in the U.S. And the, the likelihood that they will be effective in Mexico um, that already has low rates of, of substance misuse doesn't seem that it's, it's going to pan out. Mayor Kenny says the city is working hard to provide education, outreach, and prevention tools to keep people alive and connect them to support. No word on why they chose Philadelphia. No acknowledgement from the Mexican government that they even used footage from Philadelphia. Amazing. Brian Yannis, thank you.